Hi, we're Team High Sky. I'm Carissa Hambidge and I'm a biological engineering student. I'm Pei Yang Xu. I'm an electrical engineering student. I'm Yi Kai Tian, same as electrical engineering. I'm Brandon Gomez and I'm a biological engineering student. The purpose of our project is to septically uh, sample a bacterial collection from 15,000 meters of the jet stream to 8,000 meters. Our client wants to know if we can find any pathogens potentially to understand how human disease potentially spreads and if the jet stream is potentially a dispersion mechanism for pathogenic microbiology. The design we have here um, is meant to collect on the way down. Our system will first arrive at the 15 kilometers and then we will activate the the servo motor over here to let the balloon release and then the system will fall down. Also, the electronic parts are all made by ourselves, like the PCB part. This PCB is designed and uh, made by our team. And the PCB board, uh, we first designed, the, uh, we put all the comp components on a breadboard and test it, it separately, make sure everything works. And then we put, put it on the whole board and test for the whole systems. The way we design these sampling plates with um, an air funnel to direct airflow all has to do with microbial impaction. It's really critical that you have almost a 90 degrees um, wind path that's going across these sampling plates. I'm pretty excited about the Kind of some of the few innovations we brought to this design. This is an emerging field called aerobiology and people have been trying to sample with sampling systems like this for about the past five years and there's actually very little literature, um, scientific literature out there, so we didn't have too much to base our design off, but we're the first ones that I know of to have implemented wooden frames and a fiberglass wrapping um, in the past, generally a payload for weather balloons or is just a styrofoam. Yeah, and I learned a lot from this project and uh, I'm glad to with so good teammates. And thanks to Dr. Jolo, Dr. Dave, Marina, and everyone who helped us.